Hi everyone, this is Niketa from Indian Homeschoolers in US. I truly hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe and healthy. This video I wanted to talk about the first two things that you need to do when you begin your homeschooling journey. Now I know with all that's been going around, uh, you're, uh, you're pretty overwhelmed and anxious about you know if homeschooling is even the right path for you or if you can even manage to homeschool and where to begin. So firstly, I want to put your mind at ease that most definitely, definitely you can uh, homeschool, you can do it. Um, you know, uh, we have been homeschooling for a couple of years. So I speak this from experience that you can most certainly uh, do it. Um, to first uh, to start homeschooling, the first thing that you need to do is send out a letter of withdrawal. Uh, the sample letter of withdrawal is there online. There are a lot of templates available online. This letter you will be sending out to uh, the principal, the school that your child goes to, uh, the principal there, and one to uh, superintendent's office, the townships, the superintendent of the township, there his office. You'll be sending out, and I would recommend keeping one for your own records. So the letter is fairly simple. All it really does is it states that I, uh, I, your name, uh, plan to withdraw your child's name, uh, grade, mention the grade that they're in from school uh, for the purpose of homeschooling. And any further correspondence you uh, can be done to, can be sent to, you write your own address, home address. That's about it. That's all you really need to do. And send out the letters to the principal or principal and to the superintendent's office and keep one for your own records. I would highly recommend you send this letter through certified mail with the uh, with the return receipt uh, request or is it return request receipt whichever. So you know go to the post office. So do this one to the certified mail, and um, you can also pick up your transfer certificate from the school. Just like how you would withdraw, how you would, uh, if you're moving to a new uh, city or new school district area, you take out your kid from school, right? So they will be giving you out a transfer certificate. So same thing, you just ask for a transfer certificate and a transcript. Um, that's a standard procedure. So that's the first thing that you did. The second thing you would uh, highly recommend doing this is uh, find out the homeschooling laws of your state. All states have a little bit uh, different laws, uh, you know, so depending on where you are, some of the states like New Jersey, Texas, Florida, they are very relaxed about homeschooling. The rules are very relaxed, but some states like New York, Pennsylvania, they have a little bit more uh, tighter rules. There are some tests, some of them have some rules around testing or the number of days, the records. So those kind of things. So definitely get on the website hslda.org. That's the best place to look, hslda.org, um, and look in for your uh, state. So that's the, uh, you know, that's the second thing that you need to do. Also, along with it, what you can do is get on Facebook groups for your state. So, you know, if you are in North Carolina, get on a Facebook group for North Carolina. If you're in, you know, Texas, get on a Facebook group for uh, homeschooling group uh, for um, Texas, because I, I assure you the homeschooling group is very um, helpful and you'll get a lot of ideas and what to do's from uh, these groups. So it was a big help for me too. So definitely, I hope these helps. I would be putting out another video. So stay tuned for that. That one will cover a lot of the most common questions that uh, people ask about homeschooling. So, you know, stay tuned for that.